few months back. And uh, so I went to the Mecca Town, the ITC, you know, office to went to get another to renew my license. However, I, I made the mistake when I went there to renew my license, right? So you have to renew my license. But I made the mistake of having my California license right behind my PC license. I pulled and told them, oh, you got California, so you pulled my California license too. They said, okay, and as ID, I give them my, you know, my other ID, and. I thought, okay, it's going to be cool for the person renewing it. And then she, she writes my California license down, and then she staples it onto another piece of paper. I go, what are you doing? I go, oh, yeah, we basically we're switching the license. Uh -huh. I, go, I want them on back. I go, you can't. I go, why not? I go, yeah, you can only have one driver license in North yeah. America. You can switch it, but you can't have two. Go. So, but, but, but if you never saw that California license, you would have just given me a visa license, wouldn't you? I go, oh, I saw it. I go, well, give me give my California license. I go, cause I, I, cause yeah, I'm only back here for temporary. Right. So she gives me my California license and then takes my expired PC license and spreads that. <laughs> so well, what you should have done is go. What I should have done was I should have hit my California license, just give my kid to renew my PC license. Then we have two, cause you know when I'm driving here, I give him my California license and I go and get a ticket. I don't care. Go to California. But in California, I give my PC license and get a ticket. I don't care. Go to Panama. Right? Well, that's not true anymore, cause you said it on camera and now all the. It doesn't matter anymore, cause the cops is getting my PC license. It won't matter anymore. So irrelevant. So Aaron, it's been a while since you've been to Rock on Bob. Uh, one of the, our previous episodes. Uh, we found you. Eat four double quarter pounders. Now we need to settle down on the fries and drinks. Now, originally I said that we should have four, meal. four no, full meals. No, you yeah. did not. You four full meals. You, you did not say that. You said four double quarter pounders, <laughs> an order of fries, and a drink, and that was it. I don't know. That, because I, four, four double quarter pounders is a lot of food, but it's not Aaron Koo and like large right, of Right, but food. the thing is, like, I, ju I just know, like, if, if there was four drinks involved, I know that I would not have said How yes. How about four, four quarter pounders, four fries, one drink? Or as many drinks as you need? But I think we need to have fries. I think we need to have fries. And four apple pies. And four apple pies. No, because now it's just getting crazy and stupid. Okay, okay, four burgers and four fries. Why, why not a thousand uh, double quarter pounders? Okay. Deal. Okay, deal. No. <laughs> deal. Deal. If you can eat a thousand quarter pounders in, let's say, half an hour? <laughs> I think they're way more. No, than it, 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 four double quarter pounders in order of fries and a drink. Four, four orders of fries? No, an, one order of fries. I think you can do four orders of fries too. So. Well, I, I don't doubt it, but I'm not going to accept that challenge. Okay. So, yeah. Time limit. Time limit? I'd say if it's only four burgers. Half hour. Half hour? I was going to say like 10 minutes, minutes a burger. I was going to say yeah. 20 minutes. Okay. Five, Five minutes, minutes a burger? Five minutes a burger? No, Five I, minutes I, burger? I, I think the 30 minutes is a nice round number. 30 minutes seems too long. 20 minutes. Well, okay, but. Are, 23 and a half. <laughs> no, but see, if you're going for, if you're challenging you me on the math, the you know, time right? doesn't matter then. Oh, the time matters, or oh, else you can just take the whole no. day. I, I could finish four quarter, double quarter pounders in a day. Okay, but <laughs> could you finish it in like, let's say an hour, right? No, so, of course not, because I'm not I'm Right, not exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Like, hour, yeah, half an hour, 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, this, <laughs> the, the number itself is right. like... So, half an hour, half an hour seems too long, though. It's, it, it doesn't seem like it's difficult. Well, either yeah. way, I, I mean, not for like, you. Minutes or something. I mean, this guy eats. <laughs> oh, shut up. I didn't <laughs> we have we have all this food in front. Well, not anymore. But Aaron finishes regularly like half a table of food in like in in an hour. So uh, I I don't see what's so difficult about twenty minutes four burgers. Well, either do I. But like I said, I I, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. I, I just half an hour it four has burgers. To be challenge. Yeah. yeah. Well, because what the thing is, it, uh, it's 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 un it's um I have I've never done it before, and they were saying that I couldn't do that initial challenge, and so I said I could definitely do that. But now see they're changing everything, and to make it more, I don't Chall know, challenging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Yeah. I originally no, no, no. challenged this guy to. Uh, I originally challenged Aaron to eat an entire uh, Chinese banquet dinner. Ten courses all by himself, and he was like, "Yeah, I could do it." And then I was like, "Okay, I will buy you the entire meal right now, four hundred dollars if you can do it. I will, you can, you can, I will pay for everything, and I'll, I'll, I'll throw in fifty bucks for you or something." <laughs> no, yeah, and then he was that, like, "Nope, I don't." It was, this was at your bachelor party. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, this was, was at your bachelor. Party. Yeah, but I, I said yes out of it was a joke. I mean, I wasn't serious. About yeah, that. yeah, it was a joke. Uh, that, that was a joke. <laughs> this, however, this is serious. This is serious this is, business. This is, this is this is this is getting real now. 
Yeah. So that's why. Um, it just got real up in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just got real, brother. It just got so real. So that, that was the that was the challenge that was set forth, and that's the okay, one I was. So what kind of prize are we willing to throw in, guys? No, okay. Wait, 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 wait. The prize was that you guys would pay for it, and on top of that, pay me uh, in cash the equal value of the food. So if yeah, it's not yeah, fair, that's yeah. fair. So if it was, so it's like twenty bucks. But yeah. yeah. Man, you are really good. Huh? <laughs> they were offering you fifty bucks. He's, he's well, that was for that was for my Chinese banquet. Oh, okay. uh, he, he's effectively if he if he manages to complete this challenge, that's effectively Doubles two up. or three yeah, free meals. Like one giant free John, meal, that, that, and then like two more meals afterwards. That's a hundred percent return on investment. Yeah, John. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, John gets a lot better than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that there you have it. Aaron Ku, one of these dot com posts, we will have him uh, eat four double quarter pounders. At order of, let's make it a supersized prize. A supersized drink, yeah. Fine. A supersized Jack and Coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's mostly Jack. <laughs> it's Jack. Yeah, Coke. All right. All right. <laughs> and, and we will, and we will, um, uh, we will pay for the meal, and we will the equivalent value of cash. Of cash. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. A gentleman's agreement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So my brother is Bandy Andy. He's a viral video. Wait, sensation. you might want to tell people who you are first. Then. I'm Josh Reimer. Because <laughs> you've been here in a while. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Reimer. As, as, if, we all, as if we all don't already know. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, so I make YouTube videos. My brother had a viral video. And together we are applying for the Amazing Race Canada. So we put up a video. Amazing and, Race. Yes. Yeah. Amazing Race is awesome. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, we are too. Yeah. So we're, for the first time, it's coming to Canada. Not, not that it leaves Canada, but then we'll, we'll get Is to it see. only in Canada? It is. Oh, okay. So it's not a worldwide... No. Uh, okay. Okay. You know, smaller budget. Right. But if you go to youtube.com slash brothers TV, you can see our audition video. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. They, they usually pick people with, that are that are interesting, so I, I don't see why... Yeah. Spanny yeah. Sam, you and Spanny Andy. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we didn't do the best we'll job on our video because we sort of just laughed all the way through it. It's, it's the White Brothers TV, kind of the Black Brothers you. TV. Well, when so will they be eliminated? What's that a pool? When will you be eliminated the pool? When I'm eliminated? Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. I have to get on the show. You have to get on the show first. Who's going to show us on a pool? Do we get some voters? We can bet on you being eliminated before you get in. All right, so... Uh, look for look for Josh to be on uh, the, uh, the Amazing Race Canada. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's cool. The gadget of the week. Imagine this. It is the retro. What's it called? The Retro Duo Pro version 2.0 by Retrobit, uh, distributed by Inix. So you can find it at ThinkGeek, Amazon, stuff like that. And it's about 100 bucks. And it is a portable gaming console that lets you play NES cartridges as well as SNES cartridges. You can see that there's a giant adapter here to use NES. But if you're using SNES, it actually goes straight in, which is you know nice. And it has you know all the controls that you're used to, A, B, X, Y, L, and R, and the D-pad. And it's really for geeks like me that grew up in like the 80s and 90s we don't necessarily want to deal with emulators we want the quote unquote all authentic gaming experience so that's what you get with this there's also a port on the side here to put in a second controller and i think there's an av out somewhere so that you can put it on, onto a tv so if, oh there it is the, a, the av out there you can actually have an av cable so you can connect it to your tv obviously not via hdmi it's gonna be <laughs> and then you're able to use it as a home console if you want to right so it's really for people that grew up in the 80s and 90s and want to play all those old cartridges that they have if you find them from Value Village or whatever. And I'll be testing it over the next uh, couple of weeks and the review will be up on megatechnews.com. It makes me wish I never threw away all my NES games. You I threw away? away. How do you throw them away? Get out. How can you throw that stuff well, away? I think I'm much abandoned. That's not just to throw away, but well, I, Cause, don't, yeah, cause depending I don't on know the where game, they are. I don't know where they are. Game to respect. I, I still have the golden Legend of Zelda cartridge. I have a Russian and I'm I'm not putting it in here because I do not. Want really? <laughs> I, I do not want to like scratch it and make sure it doesn't work. <laughs> I have a Russian Tetris. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, this works actually really well and like. You it just look, looks stupid. You look stupid with this, and it, it doesn't instill a lot it's of. Not, it's not very it well made. A lot of it, it's not particularly. And, and kids will be like, using this to whack people. Well, kids will not, not even well, understand what to do with this because yeah, then there's exactly. no. They'll try to touch the screen and the touch screen does not. <laughs> <laughs> True. At 100 bucks, it's a little bit expensive, but Holy you know, for two NES games, all the good games back then. Considering the price yeah. of the console, <laughs> it's considering not the bad, price of the console, and it's with this playing 
games like this is way better on real hardware controls that are designed so where can we find this thing what's it called it's called the retro duo pro version 2.0 it's available in red and black all right and i think there's another adapter that you can use genesis games too Ooh, i cool. think it's like the fishing uh it's by retrobit yeah. distributed by inex you can find it at thinky amazon so that's the gadget of the week yeah. Yeah. I have the gadget. How about don't we pay a little fuck anymore? He goes, oh, no. You gotta take a panorama. No, you're not even here. You're not even yeah. <laughs> here. You know, it's kind of hard to say you're not even there when you're right on camera. Yeah. It's, it's what so you need to do is you're not a vampire. Uh, I'm not even here. I'm not even here. I'm not even here. Don't mind me. I'm not even here. Yeah, I'm not, not on YouTube here. either. You're not even here. <laughs> what? <laughs> The second right. gadget of the week is not a toy. NES it is a serious device for serious speakers. If you're a professional speaker, not like me, but you know, if you're a professional speaker, and one of the biggest problems is, you know, you're up on a stage, you're excited and everything, and you don't know, you lose track of time. So this device by Logitech is called the R800, and it's a professional uh, presentation device, laser pointer. Oh, with the timer. Oh, it's, so it's oh, a laser no. pointer with a kitchen timer attached to it. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, oh. First of all, <laughs> this is an amazing technological yeah, advancement. I couldn't that's, believe that's it. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah we it like it. It is a laser pointer. No software uh, it's called convergence yeah. devices. Yeah. <laughs> no software required. You plug into your notebook, instantly works. No software. Yeah, laser pointers usually don't, don't need laptops. <laughs> exactly. So, both went backwards. You can uh, stop, the, stop the slide. Exit the fly. <laughs> Has a little laser pointer. See, I'm gonna laser at you. Hey, don't yeah. ruin my stuff. Mm, laser. Laser. Yeah. Very nice, bright. The uh, green doesn't don't burn you, so it's okay. But the thing is, it, it also cool. has a built-in timer. Kind of nice. <laughs> so you can say, I set myself one hour time limit to speak. I can set the timer for one hour, and once I'm once I'm on the stage, I stop the timer, and the timer starts. It gives me both a digit time and also a bar graph that starts going down. Five minutes ago. Lexi went first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the third gadget. Hey, don't, 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 don't shoot her Lexi. vision too. We're on the full version already. But five minutes ago, it will, it will buzz you to let you know there's five minutes left. It'll give you another warning at two minutes. And then at, when it's over, it'll buzz you and say, get off the stage. Your time is done. John so. uses this primarily for shooting pandas in the face. In addition to that, <laughs> I also use it for presentation. I, and I will, be using this, I will be using this for my presentation on Monday. So set up for one hour. I don't. I'm talking. I just looked at them. How, how much is it? Left. This is a. Uh, I believe seventy nine ninety five. Off the Depot, Staples, oh, Amazon. Yeah, no, they're not. Steve, even ones without timers. Yeah. Uh, and they came out in twenty eleven. Okay. And we done. Well, just like the time, I don't know why. It's a laser pointer. 